This country is once again facing a crisis in confidence. The government has failed us. It is unfortunate, but an expected fact that our national spirit is demoralized. All we have to do is open our eyes to recent occurrences. The conservative Supreme Court just weakened the Voting Rights Act. It abolished affirmative action and a woman's right to abortion by nullifying Roe versus Wade. It gave the president immunity from prosecution in the performance of official acts, undermining rule of law and enabling abuse of power. Our mission now is to channel the idealism, the energy, to the talents of our young people into efforts which will stem the tide of national despair and again attempt to make this country responsive and responsible to all of its citizens. We can turn things around in this country, but we've got to get rid of our quiescence. We've got to become re-energized, revitalized, rejuvenated. We've got to once again move in the direction of saying that this indeed is a government of the people, a government by the people, and a government for the people. But it's certainly not going to be a government of and by and for the people in reality unless we, the citizens of this realm, become angry enough to rise up enough in righteous indignation and say, we have to move in another kind of direction.